This is part 41 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to prevent browser default action using jQuery. First, let's look at some of the browser default actions. When you right click on a web page, by default, the browser displays the context menu. Similarly, when you click on a hyperlink, by default, the browser navigates to the page specified in the link. Let's see how to disable some of these browser default actions. First, let's look at disabling right click. We discussed how to do this using raw JavaScript in part 43 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to do the same using jQuery. Here is what we want to do. We have a page with some text on it. Now every time we right click on this page, we don't want the context menu to appear and then we want to display this message saying right click disabled. So we want to do this every time we right click on the page. So let's see how to achieve this using jQuery. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we have an H3 element with the message which says right click disabled on this page, try to right click and see what happens. And then we have a div element and this is the div element within which we want to display this message right click disable. And within our script section we have the ready function wired up. So here I'm going to use dollar this and then I'm going to use jQuery on function. And then the event name is going to be context menu. And we want to execute this anonymous function when that event is triggered. Now look at this. When we want to associate a click event handler, we specify the name of the event as click. Now when we right click on a web page, the event that is triggered is context menu. So basically here we are saying when we right click on a web page, we want to call this anonymous function. So this is the event handler for context menu event. So when that event is triggered, this function gets called. So this is the event handler. To this event handler, let's pass the event object. And what do we want to do with that event object? We want to call prevent default function. So what is this prevent default function going to do? This is going to prevent the default action from happening. So when we right click on a web page, it's going to prevent the context menu from appearing. And after we have done that, we also want to display this message, right click disabled within the div element. And this div element has got an ID, div result. So here, let's find that div element by ID. And let's append this message, right click disabled. And let's also append an HTML break. So next time when we right click on the page, this message right click disabled will be appearing on a new line. So let's save those changes, reload this page and look at this. Every time I right click, first of all notice we don't have the context menu appearing and then we get that message right click disabled displayed within the div element. When I right click again, we get the same message. You know, every time we do it, we get that message right click disabled appended to the div element. Now let's look at another example. Now let's see how to prevent the browser from navigating to the page specified in the link when we click on a hyperlink. So here we have an hyperlink with ID my hyperlink and the href is set to presumetech.com. Now usually when we click on that hyperlink, you know, we will be redirected to presumetech.com website. That's the default action. But let's see how to prevent that default action. So when we click on the hyperlink, we don't want the user to be redirected to presumetech.com and we want to display this message saying hyperlink default action prevented. So let's see how to achieve that. So instead of this h3 element, let's include an anchor element. Let's give it an ID. Let's call this my hyperlink and let's set the href attribute to http colon four slash four slash presumetech.com and let's display a message here saying clicking here does not take you to presumetech.com all right so here this hyperlink has got an id so let's find the hyperlink element by id and the id of the hyperlink is my hyperlink and on click of the hyperlink, so the event here is going to be click event. So when we click on this hyperlink, we want to call this 
anonymous function and to this function we are passing the event object and on that event object we are calling prevent default so that's going to prevent the default action of the hyperlink so upon clicking hyperlink now we will not be redirected to this URL that default action is prevented and then within the div, div element we want to display this message hyperlink default action prevented so hyperlink default action prevented so let's save the changes reload this page and look at this when I click on the hyperlink, I'm not redirected to presumetech.com and every time we click on the hyperlink, we get that message hyperlink default action prevented appended to that development. Thank you for listening and have a great day.